We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everyone, it's uh, back for another couple of Lord of the Rings action figure reviews from Diamond Select Toys. Seems to be every six months or so uh, they drop a couple of figures, which is quite fine with my price with the price point. I'm quite happy to. Uh, you know, just hold out every every few months for a couple of new figures. It's it's quite okay with me. Um, yeah, finally being able to finish the fellowship. I'm very very excited to have the uh, have the whole fellowship together. We're gonna start off with looking at Mary. Uh, tomorrow we'll tomorrow we'll take a look at uh, Pippin. So we've, it's a very reflective packaging. I've I've had that issue before. Um, with reviews, uh, particularly with Lord of the Rings ones where the boxes are, you know, they're quite big. But uh, yeah, I do have a playlist on my channel with all the other reviews of figures so far. I think the only ones I've sort of missed are the sort of deluxe packs with, you know, got the Golem that came with the rocks and uh, the recent Gimli, which has a different beard, but yeah, all the other standard releases I do have. This is Series 7. I do have a couple more in the pipeline. I think the next ones for release are Eowyn and the Witch King from Return of the King. And then I think we're getting Gandalf the White. And I'm blanking on the other one. But um, yeah, there's a couple in the pipeline, which is always nice. It's always something to look forward to. So... um. Yeah, let's let's just crack into this one and uh, we'll start taking a look at uh, Mary, also known as Meriadoc Brandybuck. It has been fun to collect this line. Um, I don't mind that they're you know quite sparing in their releases. They're not too frequent. They don't. There's not uh, an oversaturation. Um, you know, being predominantly a Star Wars collector, it's uh, it is nice to uh, have another collecting line that's sort of a little bit, a little bit slower. <laughs> Don't have to go too crazy. Um, so you know what? I'm going to come back as soon as I've opened this, and then we'll uh, take a good look at everything. All right, here is Mary out of the packaging um, with all these accessories. This is a cool release. Um, one thing that's always intrigued me is Diamond Select. They always, when they do their sort of early solicitations for, you know, pending figure releases, um, and it's mainly only Lord of the Rings that I sort of keep an eye on. Uh, there aren't many other Diamond Select toys that I sort of focus on or keep an eye on. These are ones are the main main ones for me is they, they generally just show you the main figure and then they sort of nut out the the accessories later. I, would love to know what that means and how why they do it that way. It could be budget, um, what kind of accessories they can put with the figure. Um, it's more so about getting getting the character ready and then and then working from there to see what's what kind of accessories they can put with it. Um, the thing I'm loving about this one is they're actually giving him given him and Pippin their Elvish cloaks, um, which Frodo unfortunately missed. Pretty sure Sam had his, but Frodo, I've managed to um, steal one of the old Toy Biz ones for Frodo, so it worked out fine, worked out okay. Um, for now, I dare say they'd probably do a re-release. And yeah, the other figure I was thinking about before with Gandalf the White is Bilbo Baggins, so accessory-wise, we do get a good group of accessories. We get some frying pans here, which probably seems a lot more like Sam than, than Merry, but that's okay. It's cool that they can include some stuff and interchangeable accessories if you choose. You can have them cooking up some bacon up on the weather top. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Get a little spoon and a fork. Which again, is probably not something I'm going to use, but that's alright. You're into doing some dioramas and world building. That's perfect. I do like the uh, the pint stein here. A little bit of dust caught up in the handle there, but I'll get that out afterwards. There it goes. 
So that's cool. We get an alternate hand. So you can kind of see the way that's painted. There's a little bit of like sort of darker shading on the underside, a little bit fainter on the top. So I don't know, it just gives that illusion of of light and dark. So that's kind of cool. And then we got his the scabbard for his sword. Or dagger, <laughs> I suppose. A hobbit sword. And that fits in there nicely, so that's cool. A few of the other figures that have come with loose scabbards like this I have ended up just sort of gluing them onto the belt. That seems like a, you know, just a shortcut in the budget. They don't have to do that. So they just give it to you loose like this. Rather than trying to find a way to uh, attach it to the figure. Whether that's the case or not, I have no idea. <laughs> but that's something I did with, uh, with Elise Sam. So that's cool. All right, let's take a look at Mary. I think it's a good likeness. It's a good, good sculpt, good look, good likeness of uh, Dominic Monaghan there. I think it looks good. The bright blue eyes. I do like the sort of the shabby hair, the Hobbit hair. That's kind of cool. I love the the little leaf on the on the clasp there of the of the robe coat cloak. Let's see if that will pop off easily. I might need to remove the head to get that off. I like the nice green of the of the overcoat. It looks good. And the nice sort of intricate sculpting on the uh, vest there as well is nice. Really nice. This is his belt. Of course, just the, even just the way the jacket sort of flared open there, it's almost made to have that sort of just sort of tucked in there like that. Somehow. Yeah, it almost looks like it's sculpted to be like that. But I'll before I do before I do attach it, I'll use some reference images and make sure it's in the right place. So brown pants, hairy feet. And I like the sort of the sort of pattern there on the on the vest there looks good a couple little buttons tucked around the back take a look at the uh, elvish elvish robe elvish cloak nicely sculpted piece I like the weathering down the bottom there big drag through the dirt a little bit yeah just nicely painted and weathered up the sort of the darker shades on the uh, inside of the creases just gives it that le nice look of depth. Now it looks like it should be big enough to fit over his head, so I'm going to try and do it without removing his head. There it is. It does. It does work well. But I like them with the robes on. I'm going to keep him with the robe on. I like them sort of in their adventure mode, I guess you could say. <laughs> They're out on the open road. Let's give him his sword. Yeah, it looks good. Very, very nice. 
pretty much all standard articulation for the figure. You can pretty much see it as I've been sort of going over it. So I'm not going to do an articulation run through like I normally do with my Star Wars videos. You can kind of see it. This is all about looks and aesthetic for me. Would love to see see them do a Merry in his sort of Esquire of Rohan outfit from Return of the King. That would be a nice little addition to go with Eowyn when she drops um, probably early early next year, I suppose. With the Witch King. So like I said, these figures are a lot of fun. They're nice to, uh, nice to wait for. I appreciate you definitely, once you get them in hand like now, it's... Uh, Definitely appreciate them that little bit more having to uh, having to wait it out And yeah, maybe in the coming days or weeks, I'll, I'll, I'll put together a little bit of a video of all the fellowship But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at Mary Mary a dog brandy buck from diamond select toys Pretty nice. I'm very happy with him Look forward to uh Popping him up on the shelf with all the other hobbitses. Yeah, just setting them all up and having a nice little fellowship display. I think that'll look very cool. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, Pippin up next. Stay tuned for that one. And uh, yeah, we'll see you then.